T minus nine minutes and counting. The ground launch sequencer has been initiated. We're counting down now to T minus five minutes and we'll hold for uh, clearance at the tail site for weather. Minus eight minutes and counting. Central bus is uh, connected. Orbiter AC electrical bus sensors have been placed on monitor by pilot McCulley. At T minus seven minutes thirty seconds, the orbiter access arm will be retracted away from the vehicle. We started retraction of the orbiter's access arm, and we are configuring to hold the countdown at the T minus five minute mark, right before we start the uh, orbiter auxiliary power units. Entity flight 212. Okay, we're going to be go on tail, but we're going to have to switch sites to uh, Zaragoza. So we hold at T minus five, we can give the crew an update. Flight controllers now uh, looking at Zaragoza as our tail site, and we'll be updating with the uh, flight crew. We'll be up making these updates to the orbiter's computers at T minus five and holding. T minus six minutes, 30 seconds. APU strip chart recorders are now started recording yep, yep. data. Perform APU pre-start except for fuel tank ISO valve opening. CLT, copy. McCulley will configure switches in the cockpit to put the APUs in the ready-to-start configuration. The APU pre-start is complete with the exception of the APU fuel tank valve. Not copy. T minus five minutes, 30 seconds. Clock will be holding at T minus five minutes to update the orbiter's computers for a tail site of Zaragoza. T minus five minutes and holding. Go ahead. Ready for your briefing. Roger. Now getting ready to uh, configure APUs for the start. We're open and I've got uh, three great talkbacks. I copy that. Thank you. And launch director, uh, we're looking for a go to pick up the launch. Yeah, go to proceed. Okay, I understand. Uh, CDR and PLT, we're going to pick up in approximately 10 seconds. Right. Countdown clock will be starting momentarily. Okay. CLF, pick up on your mark. Clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. T minus five minutes. T minus five minutes and counting. Orbiter APU start. We have a go for orbiter APU start. CLT. And 
CDR, reconfigure heaters. Heater reconfig. Commander Williams has been asked to reconfigure the orbiter heaters for launch. Kelly reporting, we got three good APUs, and uh, Williams reporting the heater reconfiguration is complete. T minus four minutes, 30 seconds. T minus four minutes. Final purge sequence of the main engines will begin. Chamber coolant valves of the main engines will be opened to prepare for engine start. At the one minute point in the count, an engine ready indication will be given. At this time, the three main engines are being gimbaled and positioned for start. T minus three minutes and counting. Pressurization of the external tank liquid oxygen tank for launch has started. The gaseous oxygen vent hood will be retracted from the orbit in the next few seconds. PLT, clear caution and warning memory, verify no unexpected error. T minus two minutes, 30 seconds. Orbiter test conductor has requested pilot McCulley to clear the caution and warning memory system. Liquid oxygen tank now reported at flight pressure. Just cleared and no unexpected messages. I copy and uh, flight crew close and lock your visors. Initiate O2 flow and have a good flight. T minus two minutes. Flight crew has been instructed to close their visors. We have a go for pressurization of the liquid hydrogen tank. Less than two minutes away now from launch. All systems are go. One minute. One minute, 30 seconds. Three engines are ready and the liquid hot Hydrogen tank is at flight pressure. One minute. T minus one minute and counting. The heaters on the booster joints are being deactivated. T minus 45 seconds. T minus 31 seconds. We have a go for auto sequence start. We have a go for auto sequence start. It manages four redundant computers. Primary control of crucial vehicle functions. We lift off. T minus 20. T minus 15. 11. 10. 9. We have a go for manager start.
nautical miles. Atlantis, go and throttle up. Engines now throttle back. Separation of SRBs confirmed. Velocity now 4,200 feet per second, downrange 33 nautical miles. Atlantis, performance nominal. The performance nominal call. Performance nominal means that we are getting the expected thrust from the uh, combination of the SRBs and the uh, three main engines. Velocity now 4,800 feet per second, downrange 53 nautical miles. Atlantis, APU-1 to high speed. That's a rail ship. That call no impact. Velocity now 5,000 feet per second. Atlantis, two engines, Zaragoza. Two engines, Zaragoza. The two engines, Zaragoza call means that Atlantis could reach the transatlantic abort site at Zaragoza if that became necessary on only two engines. Velocity now 5,700 feet per second, downrange 86 nautical miles. All systems aboard Atlantis performing well. Standing by for the uh, negative return call, a correction for the uh, press to uh, ATO. Atlantis, negative return. <sighs> negative return. Atlantis can now uh, not return to the Kennedy shuttle landing facility. Downrange 136 nautical miles, velocity 7,400 feet per second. APU still performing well. Booster officer confirms three stable engines at 104%. Velocity is at 8,600 feet per second. Atlantis downrange 183 nautical miles. Atlantis, press to ATO, select Ben Greer. Press to ATO, select the Ben Greer. The press to ATO call means that Atlantis could lose performance of one engine and still make a safe Atlantis, orbit. Group Ben Greer 109. Group 109. Velocity now 11,000 feet per second, 278. Press D'Amico. Press D'Amico, Houston. Downrange 293 nautical miles. The Press D'Amico call assures that Atlantis can uh, 
Reach uh, safe uh, and nominal engine cut off if one engine should fail. Velocity 13,000 feet per second. Atlantis 338 miles downrange from Kennedy. Atlantis, single engine Zaragoza 104. Single engine Zaragoza. That call means that Atlantis could reach the transatlantic abort site at Zaragoza on only one engine. Velocity is now 15,000 feet per second. Atlantis, 398 miles downrange. 